Hey y'all, so I wanted to get up here real quick and show you guys an update of my hair. I'm almost on month six. Um, it's currently August. What's the day, Rico? August 3rd, something like that. So this month I hit month six, later in the month, on like the 26th. Um, so I wanted to come up here and show you guys an update. Yes, it looks crazy right now. I've been wearing it in this part in a ponytail, so it's like stuck because I've been gelling this part up and wearing it in a ponytail, half up, half down. Um, and I wanted to come show you guys an update before I wash it and retwist it. Um, for the month of July, I didn't retwist my hair. I just washed it and um, let it dry on its own. I let it air dry, air dry, excuse me, without retwisting it. So yeah, and this is what I'm working with so far. And the difference that I've seen with that is that if you wash it and let it air dry, if you don't go through and pop it, pop the hairs, the hair will try to grow together. So I've been trying my best to like pop it um, to separate the locks or whatever at the root. But yeah, this is my hair right now. It's still frizzy. The front part right here still um, is having a hard time. It's locked. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, see, it's locked. My roots are just growing really fast. Um, my problem area is still this area. So, like, I ended up braiding this part. So that the hair can lock right here. But yeah, this is what we got. I wanted to get up here and show y'all the real deal. Holy feel. Because a lot of videos that I watch show you the hair after it's been washed and retwist. <laughs> and I've been trying my best to find videos like, I don't know if my hair is doing right. What is going on with my hair? Is does this supposed to look right for my type of hair? Um and I guess. I'm on the right track, you guys, for my lot. So, yeah, I just wanted to get up here and show you guys an update. The end of this month will be month six. I'm excited. Of course, I'm going to come up here and show you guys. Um, but, yeah, I'm about to wash and retwist it because I'm about to go take some birthday pictures. Woo -woo, where my Leo's at? Where my Leo's at? Where my Leo's at? Where my Leo's at? Um, but, yeah. I'll come back and show you guys um, what I do with it because I do have an idea of what I want for my birthday pictures. So if it comes out right, I will show you guys. And if I like the process halfway through because I always start at the back, I'll come and show the front and um, show you guys what I'm doing and how I'm getting it done. That's only if it come out right now because if it don't come out right, I'm just going to let it wear it down in my regular wash and retwist routine that I posted the last video so yeah I'll be back to show you guys what I do with this hair so I'm back I did not film the final product um I did not film the process like I wanted to because I'm exhausted I did it after work today and washed it and all that but anyway so I did my regular retwist. Um, if you go back and look at my old video, the video before this one, you can see my routine with the retwist. So that's pretty much what I did. And then what I did after that was I took three strands or three um, locks, braided them um, all around my head and put a rubber band on the end of those three locks. And then um, after I did that to my entire head, I went back and took each braid and wrapped it in a bantu knot um and this is what i got tonight um and like i said these two are my problem areas um but my plan was to keep these down anyway and i have the little gold jewelry that i'm gonna put on them um in the morning um so yeah this is my results for tonight what i'll do is i'll come back in the morning um and show you guys the final final result and see if my husband will hold the camera or I'll try to put my tripod up and get a 360 of my head. And with my jewelry, I'll be clean. I won't be as greasy with some proper clothes on. So I will see you guys in the morning to see the final results. Good morning, y'all. As promised, I said I'll come back and show you guys my hair. And I thought it would be fun to do a quick get ready with me. Um, I'm running a little behind, but it's okay. 
Um, I'm about to head out to a Ethiopian festival. I'm working there today for my um, my agency. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do a quick get ready with you. I mean, get ready with me. Get ready with you. I guess it's gonna be you and me. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to do a quick get ready with me. Show you how I do a quick makeup look and then show you the finished products of my hair or the finished product of my hair. Um, so yeah, oh yeah, also today I was going to take my birthday picture. So yeah, I guess it's a get ready with me because that's the only reason why I'm wearing makeup today is because I wanted to take my um, pictures for my birthday. It'll be my 32nd birthday. So yeah, I always, I'm um, hearing the, the last couple years that um, for my birthday I've been taking some cute pictures. I don't go all out, it's not like professional pictures. It's my husband taking my camera that I'm filming on, my iPhone camera, and he's um, pretty much just taking the pictures for me. Um, but anyway, so my face is already washed, my teeth is already brushed, <laughs> and I moisturize my face in the morning with this Even Skin face cream. And the base of this is turmeric and lemon oil, and it helps with dark spots. This is a homemade product from a company called uh, Ancient Cosmetics. I found them on Instagram. I think the lady is based out of North Carolina, my home state. Ooh, ooh. Um, but yeah, these products have been good. And it comes, I bought it with a um, also a face wash. That's, the base is turmeric. Um, so yeah. Um, so that's how I start off my face. Next, I'm going to put on this lip, this ointment. Um, yes, it's Aquaphor, and I had it for my tattoo, but um, I bought, I've been using ointment for my lips as well to moisturize them. Here's another good one. The Restore. I got this from my Fat Fit Fun Box, but I've noticed when I use ointment that I don't have to apply chapstick all day. I usually do chapstick once or twice a day when I, whenever I apply this in the morning after I brush my teeth. And when I do makeup, it's not a lot of makeup, you guys. It's like a very low amount of makeup. So that's why I wanted to come up here and show you guys. I don't wear a foundation and all that much, so. Yeah. <laughs> so first, I usually start off with my eyebrows, which need to be done. I need to go get them threaded. And I'm um, looking at myself in the phone, you guys, for a mirror. Sometimes I might look this way because my mirror is there or this way because I have a mirror there. So, yeah. But I usually start by combing them out. I also use this NYX Professional Makeup Eyebrow Pencil Crayon to fill them in a little bit. My eyebrows are really bushy, so, yeah. <laughs> outline of him oop that went up too far but I'll correct that but yeah you guys 32 is not as exciting as 21 was so yeah it's not that big of a deal I'm not the type to dread a birthday though like I'm getting a hold and all that. I feel like age is a blessing because life is short and a lot of people don't make it to these ages. Um, and it's not always tragedy. It's sometimes it could be um, health conditions and those type of things, you know. So I'm very blessed to be this age without major health issues, still being able to run the way that I run, be here for my family. I'm very blessed despite how I grew up. So yeah, I always felt like a, um, age is a blessing, not a curse. So the whole a woman doesn't tell her age thing is BS. <laughs> we have to make our own narrative you know, men men are praised for being handsome when they get older. And women are kind of like, it's like this bad thing. 
but yeah. Plus, I have melanin, so, you know, black don't crack. <laughs> uh, but yeah, once I color it in, I'll go back in and brush again so it'll blend a little bit. My concealer, y'all, I'm whispering because it's so early. <laughs> I'm a morning person, though, so. But my husband is right in here asleep. And my son is in the living room watching cartoons because I have to get him dressed next. Um, okay, so to correct or to, like, color around my eyebrows a little bit more to make them look um, better or whatever. <laughs> And to put under my eyes, around my eyes, I'm going to use this concealer by Maybelline. It's the Master Conceal. And I have it in this color. And I have it in a lighter color, but it's um, summertime, so I'm going to use this one. Um, yeah, because my skin is a little darker in the summertime. So I'm going to, I usually put a little bit. Y'all literally, that's all on my hand, and this is gonna be my makeup on my face for today. <laughs> it's always my makeup on my face, period. So, but yeah, this much. I have this makeup brush, and I'm gonna correct my eyebrows with. Ooh, I think I got too much. Or her on there. Let's see her right here. Yeah, I'm excited. I think it's cool that I decided to do the Bantu knots before I even knew I was going to the um, Ethiopian festival for work. culture out there I'm excited about this too you know we have a lot of East Africans here in Colorado so I love that they love their culture and they do festivals and things like that you know Colorado doesn't have a lot of African Americans <laughs> what I, my experience um they have a few events here and there but it'll be the same people obviously that live here as well yeah eat a better um i don't know colorado need some help with the african-american culture around here <laughs> they can use a um, lift. I usually just do the bottom and then I take the rest of the concealer that's on my hand and dab it under my eye. Dab it under this eye. Oh, I actually put a lot on my hand. More than what I usually would. Uh, put it above the eye. So I, put, I really don't have nowhere else to put it because I don't have many dark marks due to that um, <laughs> whatever I'll wash this off but um, when I put it around my eyes I just dab it in with my hand to blend it in right here on my nose let me get some right there my nose is really red <laughs> right here in the crack This, I usually do this just to brighten up my eyes so I don't look sleepy. That's the only reason why I wear makeup, y'all. I don't wear makeup to work or nothing. I usually do it on occasions like this when I'm taking pictures. <laughs> because believe me, if I didn't have the plan to take pictures today, I wouldn't have put on makeup because we're going to be outside in that hot sun.
and yeah but like i was saying about colorado like we need more um influencers and um, companies and corporations for african americans to come out here and you know show us some love like they do in the south it's real big in the south and in new and up north in new york that's where the influencers like to go i feel like this concealer is really light it looks really light on camera but it's not you guys i promise plus i'll blend it out some more here in a few but yeah okay pack that in and i'm gonna take this brush they need to be clean by the way use clean brushes so your face don't break out and I'm gonna take this Maybelline Fit Me in the color 355 Coconut Set and Smooth Powder. And I'm going to, I'm about to hit pan. I love this stuff, you guys. This is usually what I do to set in this concealer all over my face. This helps with the shine. Mm -hmm. see everything is blended in and my skin looks gray all right so after that I need to just throw on some mascara on my lashes I don't do the fake lashes you guys I'm not a fake lash girl I like to keep things as natural as possible Oh yeah, I'm using the Maybelline Stiletto Lash. It's waterproof. I'm gonna be out there sweating, probably rubbing my eyeballs and all that. And as you can see, I got a little bit on my eyelid, and I'll show you what to do to get that off. You gotta let it dry first. See, I'm not a perfectionist. I'm not perfect at this because I'm not a makeup wearer like that. <laughs> Plus, I'm having my shades. <laughs> but because I got some more here on my eye, you let it dry and then you take a q tip. Don't wet it. Don't wet your Q-tip or none of that. And there we go. All right. So that's for my makeup. Let's look at this hair. Like I showed you guys last night, I retwisted it, braided three um, locks together, and then bantu knotted them. Shiny, and yes, I use my um, I use my regular oils that I usually use. Let's bring these two down and take the clips out. Take this clip out, it looks pretty. So, and I have these. 
gold pieces. Ooh, that's bright. Can y'all see it? That I bought for a beauty supply store a long time ago. I did some faux locks like three years ago. Hey, RJ. What's up, man? Um, and I bought these to put on there. And so I still have them. Just open them. Let's see how they look. Let's see if my idea comes out like I want it to come out. right I'll leave that one there put this one on this side that looks cute should I put another one down here let's see it might slide off I'm not too big on edges and all that neither y'all I like a natural look on my edges It's gonna slide off, y'all. If I put it down there, okay. So up here be fine. That's cute enough. But yeah, I like it. I will be back after I finish getting dressed to show you a 360 of my head. But this is pretty much all I do to my face, y'all. Um, I might put on a little highlighter because I'm gonna be outside in the sun to get a little shine. And I have this um, Color Pop Electric Slide. This is so old. Look how much I got left because I don't use it as much. But I also have the um, Becca Cosmetic. But I think I'm going to go with this one. I actually like this one. This one was way cheaper and I like it better. <laughs> Just add that to my cheekbones. Get a little highlight. Dab it on. Dab. Dab. See, I don't go overboard, y'all. Very simple. A little bit on my nose. A little bit here. It's supposed to be shine. <laughs> all right. I think that's all I'm going to do for my makeup. And like I said, I'll be back and throw, show you guys a 360 of my head. Hopefully, I'll be woke up a little bit more in my eyes. <laughs> I, could, I have a jade roller thing that I could have done. I got a whole bunch of stuff in my under eyes, but I don't have time this morning. I still got to get RJ dressed as well. So I will be back to show you guys a 360 of my head.